Hello and welcome to my channel on human design. Today I want to look at the second line call. What's involved here? What does it mean? Well, when you think about the second line, I always think about the second lines being within their own bubble, living within their own bubble. There is a natural shyness to the second line. You know, they they have this paper tiger uh, syndrome whereby, you know, they don't want people to ask them too many questions about what they do because they don't actually know. It's just coming out of them. You know, then they can't be bothered with all that. It's just, is it natural? Is it easy? Is it something that comes directly from within them? There is a inner motivation, a self-motivation that comes out of the second line. So when you think about a second line, really they are at home pottering around doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that waiting for the call they don't even know what the call will bring them or what is the right call but there is always this sense that there is something out there for them that is personal to them that will not push them into something you can't push a second line they close off they close off within their bubble. You know, they live within their own world. And if you think about the call and you think about what is the natural harmonic to the second line, you think of the fifth line. You think of the seduction. You, you think of the seduction that can take as long as it takes, you know, for the second line to open up to the other or to open up to what it is they're called for. They have to open up from within without being pushed, without being told this is the way to go. It has to come from within. There has to be a call that is personal to them, almost like a whisper that nobody else can hear but them a deep calling that takes them into something that then can become part of their whole life it's got to be fun it's got to be playful it's got to be kind of natural and easy for them you know, if it, it can be a complicated thing they can get into but it's got to it's the the keys have got to come from within them you know, if it locks in, if they feel aligned, if they're enjoying what they're doing, then this is this is the kind of call they're looking for. But when I talk about this call coming from the outside and then opening up, they want to make sure that the call is solid. And they're not a first line. They're not going to go into all the depths of it. So quite often they will go with something that has got a long tradition, perhaps, like walking on a pilgrimage, you know, going on the pilgrimage road that has been there for hundreds or thousands of years. They know they're on solid ground and they're waiting for the sacred to come to them so they can open naturally to something that is more than them, that is in tune with them that aligns with them internally. There is a genius within all second lines. It's part of that line. It's part of the line of a natural genius, a natural brilliance within them that they don't even know because the second line is also an unaware line. They don't know the gifts that they've got. They're just playing around, having fun. You know, and people go, wow, how do you do that? You know, do what? What you were just doing? Oh, you mean this? Yeah, how do you do that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's that spirit. It's that spirit of play, that spirit of just following what's in them. And they're waiting for a call that will speak directly to them. Then they can open up then there's no resistance. 
I often think about the second line as being a spiritual line in a way. Now, this doesn't mean that all second lines are going to be interested in spirituality, but there's got to be something magical about what it is that calls them. And I had this idea that it was tied to spirituality until I uh, employed someone who wasn't at all interested in any of that. What was his call? His call was cars. Cars. You know, we're walking down a, a street and goes, wow, look at that. And there's another one. You, wow, you never see these. You know, this was his this was his interest. This was what he was called to. You know, really, he was a projector interested in fast, powerful cars, you know. So it doesn't have to be a spiritual thing, but there is a magic about finding uh, finding the thing that he's really into in the middle of just a normal day. It's this special quality that is in all second lines that is waiting to be recognized from the outside so they can open up to it and move into whatever it is more fully. Until then, just better to potter around and do your own thing. You know, be that hermit within your own world. Now, how the outside comes in, I cannot say. It can be something from nature. It can be, um, it can be something that a child says to them. There's this incredible connection uh, with children. I mean, the second line is childlike, and they have a often have a very good connection and understanding of how to communicate with children, to be playful, you know, to come down to their level and and uh, instead of looking down at them like some adults will do, they'll go right down and look at me in the eyes. Hello, how are you doing? You know, it's so sweet to see, and there is something sweet about the second line because of this freshness, this purity this naturalness that's in them and i would go even further you know there is i often think about not only the gifts of the second line but i also think about their connection to well the divine connection to something that is all around us all the time the Second lines, when they really, really want something in their devotion, they seem to be heard. I mean, you know, second lines have have things happen to them that would never happen to me as a one three. You know, they want to get somewhere and they've got no money to get there. And suddenly it arrives that they get a free ticket in some way. It's like, what? How did that happen? There are there is this kind of gifting to the second line from the outside that comes to them. They're not looking for it, they're waiting for it. They're waiting for the call that speaks directly to them. And as I said, that can become their whole life. Mm -hmm. When I think about the second line, I also think about the fact that they will want to close off to negative influences, you know, that are not in alignment with them. You know, there are a whole uh, range of people and situations they just want to don't want to go anywhere near because it's not for them. They're waiting for what is for them. They're waiting for what is for them, like a child will wait for a parent to come back. Now, there are many of you that are watching this that are not second lines you know so how is it relevant to me you know well if you're learning human design it's relevant to you but more than that look and see what you have in second lines look and see where you can be called as an example in my own chart i only have two second lines in the 58 joy and in the 34 raw power in the line of momentum so this is where i was called into human design was my joy at the system and the accuracy and the critical awareness to show me in my life what was really going on in terms of the i mean human design is amazing so there was this 
there's this joy that kind of comes up from me. It's like, wow, you know, what more can I find out about this? It was a real calling. And my energy was called as well. I want to get involved with this. This is something for me. This is something that I can love. This is something that I want to be involved with. So my joy and my energy were called into human design when I met Ra, because I was just amazed at the accuracy and the way that he delivered it. Of course, he was a fifth line. Look into your own charts. If you want to really know what the second line is, look into the Ray V Ching and look up all the second line lines. All the themes will be there. And when you consider the call, consider where you have been called in your own chart to certain things. It'll give you a real awareness of, you know, what's happened when you look back in your life. OK, well, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you did, please like and share and subscribe. And I will be back again very soon with something completely different. Bye bye for now.